But it's not just the sexual mutilation of children in hospitals. This is part of a larger trend, and the trend is this. Adults crossing the line, and it has always been a bright line, into deep involvement with the sexuality of children. That has always been, and must in a civilized society, always be the most forbidden thing. It's considered unacceptable even among prison inmates. But now it seems to be growing in its prevalence. Consider the latest ad for the clothing brand Balenciaga. This was just uploaded on Instagram. As you can see, the photo shoot they're using to sell their products features a young girl holding a teddy bear in a bondage outfit. Then, in case you missed the point, the photo shoot also contains this image. It shows several documents. Most of them aren't visible, but what you can see when you zoom in, and of course the point is that you see it, is a reference to a U.S. Supreme Court case called Ashcroft versus Free Speech Coalition. That case struck down a law against kiddie porn. What is this? Well, it is what it appears to be. It's an endorsement of kiddie porn, of child pornography. What else could it be? We wanted to know. So we reached out today to Balenciaga to get their explanation, and they didn't respond. So we're going to have to take that on face value and ask, where's the moral outrage? We have an entire industry uh, in this country comprised of moral outrage merchants. If you've ever been on Twitter, you know what we mean. Truly, an entire sector of our economy is devoted to attacking people for falling short of the mark. And here is a high-end retailer promoting kiddie porn in an ad on Instagram, and nobody notices. There's no boycott. There's no front-page New York Times editorial against it. And, of course, Instagram let the advertisement run, endorsing kiddie porn. And, by the way, if you have an alternate explanation for what this was, let us know. A child with a teddy bear in a bondage outfit and a Supreme Court decision striking down a kiddie porn law? displayed on the table? What is that? Are we jumping to conclusions? Don't think so. It is what it appears to be. It's right in your face and no one's saying anything. Again, Instagram had no problem with this. Until Elon Musk took over Twitter, Twitter allowed hashtags that explicitly linked to child pornography. Nobody said anything because crimes against children are no big deal. It's thought crimes that are the real crimes. So if you said something about it, if you were libs of TikTok and said, wait a second, this seems to be abetting child molestation, which of course, that's what it's doing, you were instantly booted off Twitter. But the links to kitty porn, they're still there. Well, now they've been deleted. Thank God. That's one improvement. So all of this has been happening out in the open, but NBC News hasn't bothered to report on any of it. Where was their report tonight on Balenciaga pushing kitty porn in an Instagram ad? No. They're reserving all their energy to attack you for noticing. You're a stochastic terrorist if you point it out. And you need to be censored.